Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Futurama. This is season two, episode 16. Last time we were introduced to Farnsworth's extremely annoying successor, who was actually a clone of himself, uh, Qbert. And yeah, he was just the worst. Super annoying, super arrogant and smug. Uh, he eventually turned it around at the end, but I hope he's not a permanent member of our team going forward. Um, yeah, we also had Farnsworth turn himself into the Sunset Squad because he had reached the age of 160. Thankfully, our crew was able to save him from that. Uh, <laughs> super funny, though. Anyway, guys, excited to continue. If you want to watch the full reaction or you want to watch episodes a week early, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And let's get started. A stern warning of things to come. That's not even a joke. It's true. Exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> Great jaws, dreadlocks. There's been a mix up. This isn't a pet license, it's a fishing license. And it's mandatory. They have to do mandatory fishing? This seems the logical place for fish to congregate. So we're in international waters? Indeed so. Huh. Hey, guess what your accessories to? The sun. <laughs> Everybody kick in five bucks. Oh. There, wasn't that interesting? Bender. <laughs> this contest is as good as over. I'm afraid you're both out of your league, boys, because you're looking at a woman who owns her own harpoon. Harpoon my ass. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh! Saw that coming. It's quiet, Bender. You're scaring away the fish. Laser guided. Right. I'll head over to the other side. Good luck fishing on this side! Aha! Uh -huh. Gather round, chumps. I got the winner. A shoe. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a fish this fine belongs in a fish nugget style chunklet. And anyway, it's bigger than anything you've caught. Whatever it is, it's 20 times heavier than a boot. Ten pairs no. of boots. <laughs> you'll never catch anything with that primitive technology. We're all taking very different approaches. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry to you. I just caught a fish this big. Quit exaggerating, Fry. That's ah, screw He's it. pointing right at the fish. Oh. If I'm not going to catch a fish, I might as well not catch a big fish. <laughs> Bender, be careful. That's the ship's diamond filament tether. It's unbreakable. Is it going to work? Is he going to bring up something huge? Did all of you put on sunscreen? I've got something, and this time it's alive. Oh, Dr. Zoyer, uh, since when do you even wear boots? Pull in your line and let's go. What's it hooked hey, to? I'm snagged. Sweet zombie Jesus. It's <laughs> zombie cool. Jesus. It's coming up. That's a fast. It's diving. Oh, here we go. <laughs> My speedos! Oh no. We'll be crushed wow. if we don't equalize the pressure. How do we do that? That should do it. Wait, I'll be back in a minute. This isn't gonna work, is it? It worked! He flushed and it worked. You did it, Fry. Did what? He was just going to the bathroom. There. Good as new. Except that we're three uh, miles below the surface, we don't have any food, and the ship won't work underwater. Tempers are Great. wearing thin. Let's just hope some robot doesn't kill everybody. <laughs> the import K, okay, everyone calm down. The professor and I will get to work on the ship. Bender, Zoidberg, since you can survive underwater, you'll go out and look for food. This is a chance for Fry to test out my experimental anti-pressure pill. A pill? Oh. All that? Well then, good news! It's a suppository. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Bag of oxygen. Uh -huh. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I shanghaied us some hearty grub. No, it's just gonna... Arr. 
Okay. Could you what? help me move a couch? Ah, uh, okay. But I'm not carrying it upstairs. <laughs> what is it, Fry? You're not underwater anymore. Fry, swallow your food. You're simply hallucinating, you moron. What's so far fetched about mermaids? <laughs> you I mean, moron. there's all sorts of weird sea creatures here in the future, like Dr. Zoidberg. Every time something <laughs> good happens to me, you say it's some kind of madness, or I'm drunk. Or I ate too much candy. Well, I saw a real mermaid. Why does Bender snore? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's always something, ain't it? Here you go, darling. Wow. Hey, I can breathe. You find me fascinating, even when I'm not claiming to be a jewel thief or a lion tamer. Lions? There are sea lions on the land? Yep. We call them <laughs> land sea lions. I tame them. A whole new world. They can't use that copyright, right? Whoa. Aww. On the first date, man. I'm almost done reconfiguring the ship's propulsion system. We can leave as soon as the paper mache is dry. Where's Fry? Paper mache. We'll form a search party. Now, we'll need oxygen. I got it covered. In the event of an emergency, my ass can be used as a flotation device. <gasps> of Atlantis? Be? Atlanta. Legends true? Atlanta. <laughs> this How did they know to put in the nose? and humiliating. Now, if they could put it in the form of a suppository... Y'all enjoy your stay out of town, folks? I'd like to meet my daughter, Umbriel. Umbriel, these are some Yankees. <laughs> Yankees. How could a city with such a fabulous airport end up underwater? Yet so desperate the city's desire for tourism that they moved offshore, becoming an island and an even bigger delta hub. <laughs> until the city overdeveloped oh, no. and it started to sink. Oh Knowing no. Their fate, the others chose to remain behind on their porches with their rifles and one day evolve <laughs> into mermaids and sing and dance. They evolved into the mermaids. <laughs> so when Umbriel first brought home this carpet bagger, I was against it. But carpet damn, bagger? whole legs here ain't grown on me. I miss me wife and me oxygen. Yes, we all miss <laughs> our loved ones and gases. Come on, Fry. Wait, I'm not going with you. <gasps> Be reasonable. <laughs> Don't you realize that if you stay at this depth, your body will permanently adapt to the pressure? Realize it? I don't even understand it. I'm bored. Let's go. <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? That was oh, interesting. I guess this is goodbye for me as well. Whatever. Yeah, Whatever. Oh, no. <laughs> How did this happen? That's a very good question. Huh. So that's where I left my cigar. That just raises further questions. How is it? Oh, it's underwater. What? These last I... 24 hours okay. have been the happiest. Mercy. I do believe I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> I mean, I, I lay my eggs, then I leave, and you release your fertilizer. <laughs> and he's running away. Be the other kind of mermaid? Oh, ah, that's a flipper. <laughs> wait, wait for me. Don't leave me here. <gasps> Grab on. In honor of his record-breaking catch, I'm proud to award Bender this check for one thousand dollars. Thousand. What about Umbriel? Well, it turns out I loved her, but I wasn't in love with her. Trouble in bed. No one hey, cares, apparently. Hey, what the heck? To sleep in here. That's your new home? Atlanta. Okay. Oh, Fry. I take it he slept through biology lessons in school about how fish reproduce, but would it really have been better if it were fish on top and human on the bottom? I don't know. Uh, but even like a couple episodes ago, he made out with like this really, really hot radiator. No pun intended, I guess. Um, so I don't even really know what his taste in romantic partners is like. 
I keep trying to apply logic to this show and I really, really need to stop because this show refuses to make sense and I should just accept that. Accept that, Eric. Um, but now, uh, I'm not really going to hold it against Fry for choosing not to be with her because penetrative sex is not an option. Um, people have different things that are important to them in relationships. I might hold it against him, though, for falling in love in, like, a day and making a decision to stay down in the ocean forever after a day. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the whole episode started as kind of a joke, too, though. Uh, Hermes was filling out a pet license for Nibbler and accidentally got a mandatory fishing license instead. How does that happen? Blame it on the bureaucracy, I guess. And, um, yeah, the, the fact that the fishing license was mandatory, like, you got the license, so you have to fish, that's interesting as well. Uh, but yeah, it was, the fishing was a silly bit of fun. Leela with her harpoon, harpooning Bender's ass, um, getting a lot of boots. First just one, and then something that weighs 20 times more, 20 boots. And uh, a boot with a Zoidberg on it. She was trying so hard, but she couldn't get anything. Uh, but yeah, everybody was competing. Farnsworth used a fresh fish aphrodisiac that works really, really well. A little too well, except he sprayed it on himself instead of the bait. Don't know why he just didn't spray it in the bucket so the fish jump in the bucket, but um, yeah, Zoidberg was very attracted to the scent and started sucking on Farnsworth's head. Oh, oh, that was disturbing. That was unco that was uh, uncomfortable to watch. But yeah, uh, Bender uses Amy's parasol to make a giant fishing hook, took Hermes Manwich and uses that to fish. Amy gets sunburned. I don't know why nobody else got sunburned, but. Uh, PSA, if you get a tan, it is sun damage, so always use sunscreen, people. Uh, but Bender does catch a fish, a uh, way too big fish, uh, pulls the whole ship underwater. And uh, silly little underwater scene with Zoidberg. Uh, he found a home, so happy to be a homeowner. Wish I could just do that, just randomly find a home and live in it. Uh, but Zoidberg somehow, uh, his house somehow burned down underwater. There is no logic in Futurama. There is no logic in Futurama. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Fry saw uh, the mermaid and no one would believe him. Ocean madness, they all said. And to be fair, he's generally unreliable, but he's right this time. Uh, Umbriel gives him this little doohickey that lets him breathe and speak underwater. And uh, he keeps peeing. He just nonstop peeing in the ocean. Uh, Zoidberg even uses that to track him to Atlanta later. Atlanta, not Atlantis. God damn it. And I saw it coming, but I still couldn't help but be amused by it. And uh, yeah, I thought the mermaids might be nefarious in some way, but they were actually just like perfectly pleasant. Um, they were humans once that just sunk to the bottom of the ocean uh, when the island of A Atlanta sank and the rich people abandoned it. Okay. And uh, yeah, Fry gets dragged back up to the surface after he finds out that Umbriel is a fish, which couldn't have seen that coming, Fry. Uh, Bender gets $1,000 for his record-breaking catch and then gets it taken away when Fry falls out of the fish's mouth. And, uh, I mean, Zoidberg is also in the fish, so that counts against him as well. Um, and the man which also found, falls out, so Hermes still seems intent on eating it. I don't... I, I would not touch that. Um, but yeah, Zoidberg living in that giant bass, using the gills like blinds. Really, really funny. Anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, it really helps the channel. Full reaction on Patreon in the link in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week with more. Bye, friends.